All right, welcome back to episode number five of the Shotcut Masterclass, breaking down everything there is to know about Shotcut, an amazing beginner video editing software slash video editor, totally free. Uh, you know, the full playlist is linked down below in the description or watch this episode and the next episode will start right after it. This is episode number five, six part series. Today, we're going to be jumping into the overlays and, uh, you know, green screens and stuff like that. In the last episode, we did the titles and text, explored all of that stuff. And in the previous episode, we did a whole bunch of um, uh, video effects, transitions, all that sort of stuff. But right here is our clip. Now, this is, uh, you know, me and my homie Yarn walking up the castle. We're actually climbing up the castle. And, uh, you know, right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and provide you guys a freebie if you want to follow along with this video. So if you guys want to follow along, you can go down below and download these five clips. It is two green screens and three overlays, three glitched overlays, right? So these are the type of things. It's just a kind of cool glitch thing. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually use these and overlay them into your projects or, for example, an explosion like that or this, which is, uh, you know, a character smoking a joint as a green screen. Basically, it's just a joke. <laughs> All right, so let's actually go ahead and highlight these clips right here, make the window a little bit smaller, actually go over here to our playlist. So we've got our three clips, which we imported before, our one clip of us actually walking up the castle, the next clip of me actually uh, jumping the wall, you know what I mean? Uh, hold on, let me just show you. So I jump up on the wall, and then it's me on the actual castle, uh, you know, jumping into the castle. Pretty cool footage. We actually broke into an abandoned castle um, months ago, ages ago, me and, me and my friends. But right here is three clips and two green screens. I'm going to highlight them all and drag and drop them into our playlist. And just like that, it's going to load them up one by one into our source window, which is right here. And um, to actually use these, very, very simple process. Now, the normal process to import a video would just be to drag and drop it, but that's going to put it on the same level as this. And we don't want that. To overlay it on top of this image right here, for example, to have the green screen appearing over this without the green or the glitch effect appearing over this footage, we would actually have to create a layer on top of this. So we would right click right here and go to add video track to actually add another active video track right above there, okay? And then the process after that would be extremely simple. And, you know, all we'd actually do is import the green screen or overlay right there and then actually proceed to do an effect on it. So, for example, say we wanted the, uh, you know, the hands smoking. All we do is drag that up here right to the top. Actually, go ahead and leave it. Actually, go ahead and, you know, select it. Go to the filters. Go to add. And we actually just want to go ahead and filter that to the show video filters instead of the show favorite filters. And then just go down to the chroma key. We could do the chroma key simple, but I'm just going to go chroma key advanced. And, uh, you know, the actual chroma key selects green. We want to select the actual pick a color and just click on the actual screen. And just like that, we have actually green screened out this. But as you could tell, it's got this kind of annoyance around it, which can actually happen with some lower quality green screens. There's one thing you can do to uh, stop that to a certain extent, and that would be the key spill. And the key spill right here, advanced, all we want to do is click that. Actually, we get the target color, which is this green, right? Um, the key color is this green. We want to destroy it. We want to actually replace it. Um, and this right here is it's maybe not the easiest thing. So just kind of tweak some of these. Just tweak these. I'm, I'm actually not entirely sure if I'm, if I'm doing the correct thing right now by just tweaking these. But um, pretty much a good, a good strategy when you're, uh, when you're a little bit lost is just to start playing with stuff, 100%. So that's what I'm doing right now, trying to be as, uh, as, as honest as I can. Hold on, transparency. So I'm just trying to get rid of this. Now, it doesn't look like the key uh, suppression is working right there. Let me go back and just go to uh, the key spill advanced. Okay, so target color, this green. Boom. Tolerance, none. Okay, so that's actually looking pretty, pretty, pretty low quality. Let's go ahead and just remove that green screen. I'm just actually chalking that one up there to the green screen being pretty damn low quality. Let's go ahead and just type one of these overlays, okay? So it's actually important overlay. Actually play that, so it's a pretty cool glitch overlay. And what we'd be keying out is the black. So we go to filters, we go here, and actually go ahead and go chroma key advanced, and just click the black. And just like that, you know, right here, if we actually give this a play, so we scroll to the beginning, or we actually put the, you know, the damage a little bit there, and we give a play. Just like that, we have a nice 
uh, you know, glitch effect, which actually goes across the screen. And you see that one there is clearly better quality. It does have a little bit of a choppy effect around the side, but nowhere near, um, you know, the actual spill that that green screen had. That green screen really must be terrible quality for that to have happened. Um, we'll try it again with the other green screen in a second, but that right there is a process of actually putting these these uh, these glitches in. So for example, say we wanted just to make it glitching the whole way along, we'd import that next glitch right here, and then we'd finally import this final glitch right here, pop that there, just adjust the video to make it the actual same length. And then we just repeat that process of going here, going to the actual chroma key advanced, selecting the black, going here, um, you know, plus in that, going to the chroma key advanced and actually selecting the black. And uh, you know now, if I actually give it a play, remember the the shot cut preview window is such a slacker, man. Honestly, it's pretty laggy. But if we give this a play, we will see a somewhat accurate representation of what's actually happening. Um, and you know, as you can see, it's a whole bunch of glitches, and we have successfully removed the uh, you know the overlay um, alpha channel, if you will. And we've actually just got the glitches themselves actually overlaid right here, even though the preview window is so so terrible. Honestly, um, you know. That's just that's just shot cut, unfortunately, guys. You know, it's got a bunch of uh, crash problems, stuff like that. It's just unfortunate, but for a free editor, it's worth it, hands down. But if we actually go to playlist and we actually bring in this explosion, let's go ahead and see if we can kind of remove the re re remove the nastiness that we had going on before with that previous green screen. But if I go ahead to about here, and this one actually has the volume, <laughs> we go to filters, we plus it, we actually go advanced, and uh, you know, just like that. Um, or in fact, what I want to do here is just make this black so so that it's keying nothing and then just click and you know, just like that, it's a much higher quality green screen. As you can see, um, it still has kind of like a um, uh, kind of like a green tint around it. However, the green tint is nowhere near what we had before, but obviously still, if it's got a green tint, it's not great, right? It's not amazing if we got the green tint, but we can actually pull up the greens like that to actually kind of push it as much as we can, uh, you know, away. And then we could even follow up with the, uh, you know, the key suppression. And right there, that actually does a decent bit, no doubt. Um, and, uh, you know, drastically improves it. So if I give this a play right now, it is so damn terrible, this replay window. I say the preview window on Shotcut, I would give it zero, hands down. Not not even like a, not even like a, a three out of 10, like a straight up zero. The preview window just dies after anything. But that right there is the overlay section of the Shotcut Masterclass. The next episode, which is going to cover importing, is about to start playing as soon as I stop talking. So stay tuned for episode number six coming up, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.